Good evening, Heritage of Faith. Uh, just want you to know Annette and I love you so much. Uh, we miss being able to gather together on Wednesday night, but I just have a quick encouraging word for you. Uh, you know, with everything going on in 2020 and, and now in 2021, you know, one thing we have to understand is things can be unpredictable. You know, weather can be unpredictable. Uh, situations with family can be unpredictable. The stock market can be unpredictable. There's so many things can be unpredictable in our lives. You know, we have scripture for that. You know, Corinthians tells us that the things that we see are temporary, but the things we don't see are eternal. So we, we have to make sure we don't put our faith, our trust, in the things that we see around us because those things are subject to change. But we do place our faith and we do place our trust in those things that are eternal. Just real quick, a couple things I just want to deposit in your heart is remembering that we build our lives on something that is unseen. We build our lives on the things that are eternal, and that is Jesus Christ. Isaiah 33 verse 6 says this, it says in the NIV says, He will be a sure foundation, a rich store of salvation and knowledge. We build our life upon Him who is sure, him who is steadfast, him who is faithful. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 and 11 talk to, about, talk to us about a foundation. It says, According to the grace, the special endowment for my task of God bestowed on me, like a skillful architect and a master builder, I laid the foundation and now another man is building upon it. But let each man be careful how he builds upon it. Then verse 11 says, For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is already laid, which is Jesus Christ. The most important foundation is Jesus Christ. So these are the things that we have to build our life upon. Another thing is the Word of God. When the whole world is shaken, when things are unpredictable, when electricity is unpredictable, you know you're so used to going into a room and flipping on the switch and you're like, wow, we got electricity. Well, sometimes those things are in unpredictable, but we have to understand the Word of God. The Word of God is sure. The Word of God is sure, and it's something that we can depend on. It's something that we can lean upon. First Peter tells us this, that it's an incorruptible seed. It tells us that it doesn't fade away, it doesn't go out. It's something that we can hold to when everything else is unpredictable. We can hold on to the Word of God. And just the last nugget I want to deposit in your heart is understanding that, understanding that God is faithful, that we can depend on His faithfulness. In Psalms chapter 117 Verse 2 in the Amplified, it says, For his mercy and loving kindness are great towards us, and the truth and faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Then it says, Praise the Lord. So even when time, th times and situations can be unpredictable, I want you to know we have something that's predictable. We have something that's sure, which is the Word of God. We have something that's strong and stable, and it's building our life upon Jesus. And we have something that we can hold to in the fact that his, that his covenant and that his faithfulness is sure. His faithfulness endures forever. So let's remember to hold on to the things that are predictable, which is the word, which is Jesus, and which is his faithfulness. We love you. We can't wait to see you on Sunday morning. I believe we're going to have a great time together as we gather in his presence. Other than that, we love you. God bless and give him Jesus.